Hi Taurus, so I like to get straight into the readings, okay? So if there's anything that you feel that you need to know about the readings, then I strongly encourage you to read the descriptions box, especially if you're new to tarot. The card deck information can also always be found in my pinned comment below, right? Cross watchers, please remember that you can switch the energies around if it applies, but do try to remember that this might not be your story at all, okay? This could be someone else entirely different that your Taurus is dealing with. And equally, Taurus, if you just take what resonates for you and leave what doesn't for another Taurus, okay? Right, Taurus Collective in love, please. Right. Interesting. Your first card out is Aries. Now I have cleansed everything and pre shuffled through everything before I started your read, Taurus. You did make a big appearance in the Aries read. You've also got Aquarius. So these could be placements in your own chart, or it could be someone that, that you are actually dealing with, okay? Pluto, that's Scorpion energy, and Mercury, Gemini, or Virgo. Okay, <clears throat> right, so let's get into this energy then. Aries, Aquarius, Pluto, and Mercury. Taurus. Either you or someone that you're dealing with is currently trying to reinvent yourselves with this particular combination. You or they could be um, trying to figure out reasons behind what's happened in the past. Maybe trying to look for um, some kind of validation Either way, this is someone who is trying to improve on themselves. They're, they're trying to make changes that are sensible changes. That there is a very long, in-depth thought process that has gone into this. And it's not likely to happen quickly. Okay, so these changes is going to take time. So whoever this is pertaining to, please be gentle with yourself. I do see that you're going through not just little surface level changes. This, this is much deeper than that. This is someone who has had their entire belief system shaken to the very core. This is dark night of the soul type energy, okay? So whoever, whoever this is, Taurus, if, if this is you or the person that you're dealing with, they can need time, they can need space. Okay, right, so just in case any of you are dealing with specifically an Aries, an Aquarius, a Scorpio, a Gemini or a Virgo, I will clarify each of these cards for you and then we'll move on to your main tarot spread. Okay. I'm not even getting to ask the questions because your cards are just coming out so quickly. I am looking at them though as I'm shuffling the cards. What does the Gemini or Virgo want for Taurus? Thank you. Okay, right. So if you're dealing with an Aries, be, be cautious. The Aries isn't saying much at this time, okay? It's showing that your Aries is being very strategic, a little bit sneaky, and um, that they're trying to make their escape, okay? If you're dealing with an Aquarius, this Aquarius could be at your place of work or they could be in your school or college or university anything like that um, the Aquarius has actually got a lot of really good ideas so if you're around an Aquarius at this time they, they might be able to provide you some insight 
on what's been going on for you. And they, they could end up giving you some information that is that, that you can apply in your physical life. So if you're around an Aquarius at this time, that, that you know is a, is a decent human, of course, um, then yeah, take what they say on board and, and really listen to, to what it is that they have to say. If you're dealing with a scorpion, um, we're seeing the four of wands with that. So I feel for some of you, you could be related to a scorpion, that the scorpion could well be a member of your family and they, they're being very supportive of you at this time, Taurus. And again, it, it's indicating that they're... Um, they, they would like to fight your battles for you, but they know that they can't, okay? So they're trying to support you in other ways instead. Um, that there's also, if, if there's a scorpion someplace, they could be trying to distract you and trying to do something for you that will help make you happy, cheer you up a bit, uh, that sort of thing. Maybe suggesting a holiday or helping to pitch in and contribute towards a holiday so that you can go away and relax a little bit. If there is a Gemini or a Virgo in the mix, then this individual is just basically wanting things to get easier, that they're waiting for smoother times. They, they could be using you as um, an emotional garbage can. Don't let them do that if, if that's the case. Don't let anybody dump their crap onto you. Okay. For others of you, either this Gemini or Virgo is giving you information that is going to take you a lot of time to digest. But once you have digested the information that comes from them, you'll be able to make a clearer decision on what to do about your current situation with the person that you're dealing with. Okay. Um, th there is a strong vibe of... Um, in your read and in Aries read, there's this really overwhelming strong vibe of somebody has betrayed the other. And the other one is left to pick up the pieces and wondering how, how are they going to rebuild their lives from the betrayal that's just happened. The, it definitely does seem to be a running theme in, in your read and Aries read. Okay. Right, so we are going to start pulling your tarot, and obviously I don't know who is going to show in your tarot read, okay? It could be someone who is connected to any of these individuals that I've already mentioned, or it could be in regards to somebody else entirely different, just entirely not connected to this little scenario that I've already taken you through, okay? So always do keep an open mind, especially with general reads. Always, always, always. Okay. Listen to Taurus's person's headspace, please. Okay. Right, so in your person's headspace, we see the Nine of Wands, Sagittarius energy, the Two of Swords, Libra energy, and Death, Major Arcana for a Scorpion. So in their headspace, they, they feel very defeated, okay? And they're, they, they don't know if they can continue with the way that things currently are. That they're very, very confused, very withdrawn and exhausted, right? With this death, um, realistically, a situation, a connection or relationship, whatever this is, it's over. Like, logically, th there is no coming back from whatever it is that's played out. I am going to clarify this one, though. Where's the death card in the headspace, please? Three of coins, Mars in Capricorn, King of Wands, um, it's Leo. Okay. 
So this would indicate that um, basically someone is just trying to liberate themselves from the, this really heavy, dense energy that's around you at this time, Taurus. Now, I, I, I don't know if, like, which side is this being read from? Like, straight up, because, as I said, Aries read was strange as well. It was really, really weird. It, it also did have that really heavy, dense energy. Uh, where two people who know feel well that a situation's over and at this point in time it, it's almost as if um, y use a beating a dead horse you know trying consistently to make something work when clearly it's not working Th this is two people who are very deeply deeply unhappy Hmm, okay. What's in their heart space towards Taurus, please? The tower, that's weird. Because that, that's really creepy. That was in Aries read as well, in the exact same position. The tower, Mars energy, Aries scorpion. Ten of coins, Virgo energy. Oops. The six of swords, Aquarian, eight of cups, Pisces, and the ten of wands, Sagittarius. It's heavy. It's really heavy, isn't it? Um, okay, so Taurus. For some of you, you might have been trying to keep a relationship going for the sake of the children. And if it's not children, then there would have been financial benefits for trying to keep the relationship going. But even that has become no longer enough to keep these two very unhappy individuals together. It's just not enough. Because you can see Six of Swords and the Eight of Cups in someone's heart space. Coming out of this really difficult situation, the Lord of Abandoned Success, walking away from something that, that you spent time building up, just leaving it all behind and, and trying to start again. I, I don't know why these reads are coming out as dark as they are. I, I genuinely haven't got a clue. I have cleansed, I have pre-shuffled, I took a huge break in between and meditated on your energies before I started. Also, speaking of which, um, I did forget to mention at the start of the read, your, um, your meditated message. Some of you are not drinking enough water, okay, and you could be suffering from a little bit of dehydration, which is affecting your ability to think clearly, okay. So if, if you can, try and uptake your, your consumption of water, okay? Um, someone's got a really heavy heart here, really, really heavy. That there's been a breakup of a family as well, I can see that. But it's almost as if someone was given not much of a choice. Why the Ten of Wands, please? It's very abrupt the way that came out. The Chariot, Cancerian, there, there could be a Cancerian involved somehow in the equation. Uh, moving forward again, understanding the need, like understanding that this situation, it can't, it can't continue, that there's just no way. Whoever's read this is, 
You need to take back your power and to rebuild as best you can. What actions will they take toward Taurus, please? Oh, that's... That's insane. The seven coins again. Same position as how it appeared in the Aries read. Seven of coins, Taurus energy. How weird. <clears throat> Two of coins, it's Jupiter and Capricorn energy. What actions will they take toward Taurus, please? <clears throat> Age of Swords, Air Energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Okay. Um, so in their actions, Taurus is indicating that they're, that they're waiting for you to make some kind of a decision one way or the other. They also do seem to be keeping tabs on you as well. There could be a bit of gossip that's going around. Oh, bugger. Yeah. The Seven of Swords, Aquarian energy. Um, I, I'm getting the strong feeling, Taurus, that someone outside of, of the situation that you're currently dealing with is relishing in the fact that you're going through a difficult time with this particular individual, that there's someone who is loving it. Um, that's really, really icky. Page of Swords, Seven of Swords, it's not a great combination. Um, someone's listened to a lie from a shit stirrer. I think it's about you. Or if it's not about you, then it's about someone else that you care for very deeply. D I don't like doing reads like this because it's so dense. Like the, the energy is just really thick and foggy and icky. And it is really difficult to try and move through. So whoever is resonating with these reads, my heart honestly goes out to you because this is not an easy situation to get past. The, the thing with this, Taurus, there is clearly animosity between you and someone else. Now, whether, whether or not they started it or you started it, that's for you to decide, right? The bottom line is that there is animosity here. There are also shit stirrers thrown in the mix as well. Someone is running to you, Taurus, and telling you lies, and then equally they are running to your person or your ex-person and telling them lies, and they're reveling in it. They're enjoying the drama that they're causing and the trouble that they're causing. So the best way to handle this situation, Taurus, is don't play. There's a lot of immaturity that's showing up in these reads so far. A lot of childish mind games, manipulation, and just straight up treachery. And there's, there's no need for it. Because I can see clearly that someone is just trying to move on with their lives as best they can trying to reinvent themselves, recreate a life that they, that they genuinely want to see for themselves, trying their best, trying to stay out of trouble. But then it's like this trouble or troubled person is inviting themselves into your life, causing more problems. They are not welcome.
The likely thing that's going to happen here is the person who is listening to the lies of another is going to get so angry that they might end up trying to take it out on you, Taurus or Crosswatcher. You can switch it around if it fits, okay? It is reversible. I can see that the shit's about to hit the fan, but Taurus, if, if you don't play into that game, then it shouldn't be a problem, All right? Keep your priorities in check. Don't engage in this childish nonsense. The energy at the bottom of the deck, Queen of Wands. It's Aries energy. And we've got a King of Wands up here. So this is indicating that somebody could well be jealous because you're moving on. Or cross-watcher flip it. It could be a Taurus that's jealous of you moving on. Either way, that there is a lot of jealousy here that is the root cause for all of these problems. Someone's life is just starting to get to that point where they're, where they're genuinely enjoying life again. And someone else doesn't like it. They've got a serious problem with it. I don't think all the sage in the world is going to get rid of that energy. Oh, <laughs> random. Oh, sanctuary, yeah. Imposing upon your personal space. That's a sanctuary card. It's page of swords with malicious intent. Is that one? You're being watched. Someone's spying on you. That they're looking into all of your personal business. They're, they're not respecting your privacy. Someone is doing that. And this, oh, Selkie and her skin reclaiming your authenticity. The status quo is keeping you trapped. You feel that you're being used. You are. You're being used for drama. You're being used by whoever the shit stirrer is to make them feel better. You, you're being used as a, a source of entertainment, which is sick. It's really, really sick. This could well be, Taurus, if, if, you, um, if you have a new romantic relationship on the go, someone else could easily be jealous of that and causing drama in your life. Don't, don't play into that. You, you're better than that. Whoever that's resonating for, you're stronger than that. You're better than that. Let them get on with whatever it is that they're doing, if, if you don't feed into that energy by giving them the attention that they're quite clearly looking for because they're starved of attention, then they're, they're going to stop trying. They, they will because they'll get bored. They'll get bored of not getting a reaction out of you. New love and attraction. A new person has stirred your romantic feelings, so somebody else needs to get the fuck over it because you're moving on. Attraction, you attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully, yeah. Keeping your priorities in check. Remember the, the golden rule, where your awareness goes, energy flows. So are you gonna feed in to the jealous person, Taurus, that, that is determined on crapping over you and your life, or are you gonna feed in to this new love? that has the potential to go places it's safe for you to love. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. Come from a place of love. Focus on the love. And that's what you'll attract more of, okay? It's for 
Taurus, please. If you could do anything, what would it be? The answer dwells in your heart, not in your mind. For the heart is the gateway to the soul. Mm -hmm. Life is far too precious to waste on those that don't wish as well. It's far too precious. The past is now behind you. Release it and embrace new possibilities. A new path is now available to you, so follow it with faith. Yeah, absolutely. When it comes to matters of the heart, there is no right or wrong. Every choice you make expands your understanding of life and love. So whoever the difficult individual was or is in your life, soon to be was, um, there, there, there are reasons why you've had to go through this experience with that particular individual. And it's strange because we were seeing that, weren't we? at the start of your read, where I said that somebody was trying to make sense of the things that happened to them in the past. It's like they're trying to join up the dots. That's that one. Playfulness. Laughter is the best therapy. Have some fun together and remember that love is the greatest healer. So yeah, Taurus, don't feed in to the, to the spite. Feed in to the one that you love and the one who loves you, okay? Have have a bit of fun with them. Um, we saw as well there was a mention about holiday. If it's safe to do so, of course, and if you feel comfortable to do so, have like a little mini break for the weekend away together to enjoy each other's company and just to, to focus on each other. I'm talking about the one that you love and the one that loves you, not the spiteful one, <laughs> okay? And surrender. At times we must surrender the old before something new can enter our lives. Let go and all will work out. Surrender the old, the, the shit stirrer one, okay? Surrender them. Let them piss in the wind all they like, but do not let them dictate to you how you feel about yourself. Okay, because that's, that's you then giving someone outside of you power, All right? Never ever give your power to an external source. If you're secure within yourself, then nobody else, like, they, they won't be able to hurt you, okay? Mayhem, that's your current energies. Right, so your focus is, your manifestation is happening, current issue reveals a past wound, spiritual growth and hang tight. So your focus is to hang tight, Taurus, ride this out. Um, and remembering again, you see where it says your manifestation is happening. Pay attention to where your awareness currently is because that's where your energy goes. That's what will manifest, all right? Pull your awareness away from the spiteful ones and put it in to the love, right? And that's what will manifest. This spiteful person has triggered wounds of your past. And that's what you were trying to figure out at the start. Why did this person come into my life in the first place? Because they, they have done nothing but be malicious, destructive, vindictive. They have done nothing but try to destroy me from the inside out. Why was a person like that sent into me? And and that's that's the the conclusion that some of you are going to come to, because that person has revealed past wounds of yours that were never addressed in the past, and you, you're working through them now. It's going to take time. <clears throat> so Taurus, please. Thank you. Okay. Right. Apricot. Rejoice and laugh. 
lightens any heavy burdensome energy, brings enormous vitality, joy and zest into your life, releases fears and anxieties, a colour of creativity, fun and intuition. So the way that these cards work is these are the colours that um, you're being guided to meditate on, okay? So if you feel that you you definitely need to release this burdensome energy so yeah for 99.999 percent of you please do consider meditating on the color apricot and then you have jade take action serenity tranquility love and nurturing creates balance harmony and self-sufficiency release negativity and stimulates ideas making what is complex seem a lot simpler and doable jade is a cleansing color which helps you to take action and make your life easier it's beautiful and it it's like the vibe, see when you look at that card as well, you just instantly feel relaxed and at peace and it helps you to feel more grounded and present in the moment. And it's like, yeah, I'm listening to nothing but the birds in the trees and I am not going to listen to this malicious gossip bullshit that's going on. You know, I'd rather take a walk out in the forest and listen to the wildlife instead. Um, is an interesting one, Taurus. Really, really interesting because it's really heavy and dense right now. However, it's nothing that you can't pull yourself through the other side. Okay, you do have the strength and the tenacity to get yourself through this. Or again, cross watcher, I could I could be speaking to you as well. Okay. Take it as it resonates. Right, so with this next deck, this could be physical features of somebody. It can be initials of somebody that you're dealing with. It could be your initials, your new person's initials, your spiteful person's initials, anybody, okay? This deck, it can get a little bit too specific for some. So again, just take what resonates for you and leave what doesn't for another Taurus. It is general. So Taurus, please. Okay. Yeah, scars. Someone left a lot of scars on your Taurus. Mentally, physically, spiritually. Any or all of the above. Absolutely. Um, some of you could have physical scars like on your face as well that you're very sort of self-conscious about. Don't be self-conscious about them, Taurus, because it tells parts of your story. It's a part of you. It's a part of who you are. And it's, it reveals that... Um, that you're no stranger to hardships, you know. It reveals that, that you've got a story that belongs to you and you should be proud of that because you came out the other side, all right. So wear your scars with pride. Obviously, I'm not talking about a victim mentality. I'm talking about acceptance. They're two very, very different things. All right. So if you're trying to cover up your scars, maybe reconsider. And I am such a hypocrite for saying that as well. Because I've got scars. I've had them covered up. Because um, I couldn't bear to look at them. It, it's looking at your scars with a different mindset. If you want to make them pretty with a tattoo over the top, go for it and wear that with pride, you know. Never be ashamed of your scars. Never be ashamed of, of your story. Okay, H, A, L and T. Bald. Now, that, that could be a physical attribute of somebody or it could be B, O, L, D. Bald, brave. Funny and tall. So, yeah, um, you might find that your sense of humour, Taurus, is 
going to help you through this difficult dense energy that you're currently working through. Retain your sense of humour where possible. Granted, not, not everything you're going to be able to laugh at, but where you can, enjoy some light-hearted... Um, light-hearted therapy of some kind that that could be through watching a comedy um, reading something that makes you smile enjoying the company of someone who makes you laugh you know things like that it can really help you to give you a boost and also you can laugh at the uh, troublemaker for being so pathetic as well there is that Okay, balance. It's time to find balance in your life. What is most important to you? I know it's a really pale card. You might struggle to read that. Um, but what is most important to you, Taurus? Where, where is your awareness going? Where is your attention going? Where is your focus going? Find the balance. Heal. You have a natural gift for healing through your hands, words or actions. Yeah, so some of you could be um, spiritual healers. Now, the thing with that heal, we often put a lot of pressure on ourselves to, to heal quickly. Almost as if we've got something to prove. You don't have anything to prove, Taurus, okay? You heal in your own time. And remember, healing is not a linear process. There will be ups, there will be downs, there will be twists, there will be turns, okay? Take it step by step, day by day. It's not a linear process. There isn't a single person on the planet that can sit there and go, I am 100% healed. Doesn't happen, doesn't exist, and if they tell you it does, they're lying. Straight up. Healing is all about being the best version of yourself on that day, okay? So every single day you're striving to be a better version than what you were yesterday, last week, last month, last year, 10 years ago, whatever the case might be. It's all about being the best version of yourself on every new day. And passion. Passion isn't confined to just sexual energy. It can help. Life is meant to be felt, so don't hold back. Yeah, don't hold back. Follow your dreams, follow your passions, follow what makes you happy. She believed she could, so she worked her ass off and she did. Or he, he believed he could, so he worked his ass off and so he did. Mm -hmm. Whatever you put your mind to, you can and will achieve. Never settle. Yeah. Yeah. Never settle. You are amazing. <laughs> and you're smashing this. It's beautiful. So yeah, that is what I have for you, Taurus. If you would like to book a private reading with me, then the link to do so can be found in my descriptions box and it's in my pinned comment below. If you're on a mobile device, you might not initially see the comments, okay? So scroll down, you'll see a comment. If you click on it, it'll open up the entire comments section and the pinned comment that I've left for you will be right at the top of that list. Okay, right. So thank you so much for watching. Have a lovely week and I will see you in the next one. Bye.